Hi guys, welcome back to another Battlefield video. We are on a good BF5 these last couple of weeks and will continue to produce these videos as I'm really enjoying it. Besides that, I hope you are all doing well in these strange times. I am the Dutch Raider and today we are looking at the assault rifles of Battlefield 5. You are wondering what is the best assault rifle to close out this year of Battlefield 5. As we are hopefully getting a new game at the end of this year, but with the Rona also screwing over the gaming industry, we'll just have to wait and see. Now enough complaining, let's get back to the gaming. Besides nice explosives, rockets and grenade launchers, the assault class in Battlefield 5 has a choice of two types of main weapons. We've got several different styles of semi-automatic rifles, which as its name suggests, fire a single bullet every time you pull the trigger. And then the better of the two in my opinion, the assault rifle. These rifles can fire multiple bullets per trigger pull. There currently are 6 different assault rifles in the game. I'll go over each one quickly and at the end we'll round up with the winner in this category. To start off we've got the Sturmgewehr 1.5, the standard assault rifle in this class. It is average on every aspect of these guns. Good for the beginner, but nothing special in the end. Fun to play around with until you've unlocked your real choice of assault rifle. Next up, the Breda M1935PG. In my opinion, the worst assault rifle in this game. It fires in bursts of 4 bullets or semi-automatic fire. The only way you can make this gun kinda work is use it as a semi-auto rifle. Aesthetically, I find it a good looking gun though. With the magazine being open so you can see the bullets in it when you reload, it's quite a nice touch to the game. But I don't think it's worth the hassle of putting up with that firing in bursts. Then we've got the M2 carbine. Balanced for close range engagements. Anything beyond CQB makes this weapon hard to control. And in so, just plain unreliable. So whenever I'm on an M2 vibe, I hop into Metro and have some fun with it. Otherwise, on the longer range maps, it is hard to make it properly work. With a rate of fire of 830, it is the fastest firing AR. Coupled that with the high recoil makes this gun less than viable for medium to long ranges. Besides that, it also has a bad damage characteristic with a max damage of 20 and a minimum of 13, making this gun a 5 to 6 shot minimum to kill a full HP enemy. Then we've got the M1907 SF, which also is a close range AR, just like the M2 carbine. But this weapon is just slightly better than the M2 thanks to its max damage of 25 per bullet, meaning that a 4 shot will kill from up close. With an RPM of 770, it is really good for those 1 on 1 engagements in close range. Now I say 1 on 1 because it only has a 20 round magazine, which makes you run out of ammo very quickly. And besides that, with a slow entry reload, it doesn't get you back into the fight quickly. Then we're going on to the Ribeye Rolls 1918. The first decent AR if you ask me. It is very accurate in long range fire. It has a slow 540 rounds per minute which makes it very controllable for those longer ranges. With the right specialization it has a very fast bullet velocity which again helps in those longer ranges. This AR is just made for shooting far. So try to avoid CQB with this one. Now before we come to the finale, if you want to help this channel become bigger and better, it helps a lot if you hit that like button. And subscribe if you do not want to miss out on more Battlefield goodness. Now it shouldn't come to a surprise that the best rifle in this category has been the same for quite a while. It is the STG 44 or Sturmgewehr 44. This weapon is extremely controllable and almost turns you into a DMR when you use it with tap fire. It lets you stay on target much longer than most other ARs with sustained bursts. It has the stamina damage profile of 25 damage per bullet, making it a 4 shot kill in close ranges. The 600 rounds per minute again makes it very controllable for longer ranges, but still keeps some credibility in short engagements. Are you going to win every CQP battle against a Type 2A? Well no, but that is not what this gun is made for, so avoid these kinds of situations. In any other situation, you are very likely to come out on top with this weapon. Just keep in mind that tap fire for longer ranges and don't be afraid to use controlled burst in short engagements. With 30 bullets in this beast, it packs a punch in every encounter. 
It has a good reload speed will, which will get you back into the fight quickly. It is my personal favorite and I still enjoy using it. Now that is the end of this video. If you like these kind of guides, let me know down below which class or weapon I should cover next. If you watched it all the way to then, a big shout out to you and let me know down below what you think. As always, I will see you in the next one. Have a great day. Cheers.